Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. Today I'm going to discuss file upload with Expo and Firebase. I remember once I was working with uh, one of the project of my client uh, for which I have to use Expo with Firebase and I had to add a feature of file uploading. So I tried to do it the conventional way that is the way I used uh, I used to do it with the react native but the same thing didn't work with expo because when you use firebase you have to uh, when you are using firebase cloud uh, then you have to uh, convert the file first in blob format before you uplo upload it to the firebase google cloud so uh, that is not possible with Expo because Expo don't support uh, native modules and it just support JS based modules. So that is uh, that feature is not available in Expo. So uh, the that's the time I uh, decided to explore deeply into how to do this and I found different ways to do it but the most uh, the, the way that is the most easiest way is uh, the way I am going to show you here so let's see how to do it so the most easiest way is to use AWS S3 and you might be thinking that AWS S3 like you have to again uh, add some more technology and have, you have to deal with different things but uh, trust me it's very easy to uh, uh, start with AWS S3 and add it to your project and once you are uh, familiar with S3 uh, it becomes a cake walk and uh, you can do things very easily you can upload files to AWS S3 and access it in your code whether it's uh, react native whether it's uh, expo or whether it's any other JS or any other language so AWS S3 is very easy to uh, learn and add it add it to your project so here you can see the code where I've used Expo as well as React Native with AWS S3. So let's try to understand uh, what's going on in this code. So the first thing that I've done here is that I've uh, configured options for Firebase. You can see here I have API key, database URL, project ID for Firebase. So these are the configs for Firebase. And next is the configuration for AWS S3. So these are the configuration for AWS S3. If you are new to AWS S3, just uh, go use this link to go to uh, my one of the tutorial where you will see how you can get started with AWS S3. So these are the configuration for S3. And after that, the thing that uh, is being done is that I'm establishing a connection with uh, Firebase database, uh, especially the newsfeed node. So the newsfeed node uh, just a minute. So the newsfeed node here Uh, is getting connected with the app and whatever changes that's that will be made in newsfeed node of the database will reflect here so here we are establishing a real-time connection with the database and we are fetching the news feeds and then we are converting it to an array format and then we are reversing it and we are rendering it in our app so that's what's going on here that is the component did component did mount uh, lifecycle method of react native okay next thing that we need to see is that 
uh, what happens when the user clicks add photo so when user clicks add photo then this async method on add photo is uh, triggered and uh, where image picker of expo is lo uh, launched so <coughs> image picker allows the user to pick up a image from the <coughs> mobile app and uh, we are able to get the path of the image on the mobile and uh, we are able to also find whether it's what type it is because uh, it, uh, image picker allows us to pick up the videos as well so here uh, it returns the type of file it is whether it's an image or whether it's a, a video so for now we are just dealing with the images so this allows us to pick the image and get the path of the image okay next thing that we need to uh, consider is that what happens when user clicks on post button so once the user clicks on post button uh, we get a timestamp and initialize it with the id uh, field and then we uh, take the text that is entered by the user in the text field and we initialize with the text field and then we check whether user has added a photo any photos if user has added a photo then we are getting the URL of the that is the path of the photo we are also extracting the extension from the path of the photo and then we are giving a random name to the photo so now we have the name of the photo we have the type that is the type is uh, it's the type of image and its image type and the, together with the extension of the photo and we have the path that is the URI so we are using this information to upload it to the AWS S3 here you can see we are uploading these uh, using these options and the options that we configured above with this data and uh, options we are uploading it to AWS S3 and if it uploads successfully then a 201 response is returned and that uh, with 201 response we all we are also getting the URL of the file that was uploaded that is the URL of the image uh, on the AWS S3 so finally we are saving the that URL the text that user entered in the text field and the ID that we generated the timestamp in the database here you can see we are saving all information in the database the news feed node if the user is not uh, uploading uh, adding any photo then also we are just saving the ID and the text field so that's what that's what's going on here basically and we are using flat list component to render the news feeds and here we are checking if there is photo then we are rendering the photo with the with a title that is the text if there is no photo then we are just rendering the text so that's how this whole thing newsfeed is working so this example demonstrates how we can use expo and firebase to upload a photo very very easily and uh, we can uh, use it in any of our apps and AWS S3 is very easy to configure and use so I hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and found, found it informative and if you want to see the demo of the working app you can just download it from here or from here and uh, if you like this video then make sure you do subscribe to our news channel uh, sorry uh, our newsletter and also our youtube channel and if possible support us by 
some small donations your small donations can make a big difference and can be very uh, supporting for us thank you guys have a nice day